Morning everyone, another video for you today. Today I will try and guide you through how to uh, calculate elevation. So we're heading into a side wind here. Uh, it won't affect the distance too much because it's almost from the side. However, there is a, a slight uh, headwind element to it. So what we need to factor in here is the elevation change. As you can see there, it's around about 86, 85, 87 feet, 86 feet below. So we're looking at a reduction of about 29 to 30 yards. We're aiming quite far right, so we need to take about 30 yards off, so we're looking at 159, call it 160, so we'll hit almost full power over here. And I ran out of time, trying to explain my methodology. Um, yeah, so we'll take 30 yards off, so we're looking at 159. So I'll change back to the 7 iron, put a bit of backspin on it. Uh, not too much. The ball will spin quite a lot back in the air. And now we seem to have a problem. Same as last time. Now watch what's going to happen here. The shot is not going to start. This is the bug I was telling you about before. The shot is not going to start where I aim. As soon as I hit it, you'll see the camera angle will change. And it'll probably go dead straight and drift far to the left. Yeah, you see? Look at that. It started straight. Uh, this is a bug which the developers have agreed and uh, it fell terribly short. This is not uh, what should happen. Everything about that shot was thrown out the window because of the bug uh, when, you, when you're aiming somewhere and you run out of time. The second time you uh, line up your shot you won't be able to move the markers and... Um, yeah, this is just a it's a long term bug that's been going on for quite a while and the developers haven't seemed to given it the attention it deserves. Alright, so most likely I'm gonna lose this match somehow because my opponent does have the advantage of hitting first. Uh me making this video trying to explain to you how I think has ended up costing me. Unless I can play a decent shot out of the bunker, uh to set myself up for a par because he's li unlikely gonna get a birdie as well. So the only hope I have is to make a good enough shot out of the bunker here to set myself up for a par. Alright, so here we're looking at 17 yards. Um, I'll be using about 30 yards power, which is just about double, to consider the roll and also the fact that we're coming out of the bunker, we do need to give more power. So I'll hit just over 50%. And it's bouncing terribly to the right. But I should be able to make par from there. As you can see, the shot the shot went uh, about 17 or 18 yards. So my distance was very accurately measured. Alright, his putt almost went in, but at least I have a chance now to draw the match and to set us up for a closest to the hole. Alright, so here we have a right to, right to left slope, as you can see there, the ball is drifting from the right to the left. I'll be aiming just outside the right edge, and uh, provided the ball starts where I aim, it should go in. Alright, here we go. Okay, easy par. And even though that tee shot was uh, uh, affected by the bug in the game, I've managed to make a par. Alright, now this particular hole I've played a few times before. Uh, it does come up quite often in the closest to the hole competition. Uh, as you can see from this perspective, the green is sloping from right to left. From the golfer's perspective, it is obviously left to right. So we'll be wanting to aim to 
the right of the flag over here, the golfer's left, because the ball is going to then land and roll to the right. We want to use about, I'm using full backspin to try and get the ball to stop quickly, about 12 to 13 yards power, 75%. And as you can see, it did roll to the right. In fact, if I had aimed a bit further to the left of the flag, it would have been even closer. Hopefully, that'll be enough to let me get the win. All depends on how close my opponent gets it now. All right, that's going to roll to the right. I can already see that I've won. All right, another video, another couple of tips for you. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching.